right, everybody. Good morning from day two at this mess of an RV. Uh, I have a working title for our uh, shot, and this is uh, Mac Bolin and Able Team Destroys an RV. So these are some of the uh, books that we got out of this camper, uh, Able Team Executioner Series. Let me read you a uh, excerpt out of this. Lyons took out his Atkinson. The young soldier gasped. What is that rifle? The soldier asked. Lyons described his crowd killing device. This is an Atkinson selective fire assault shotgun loaded with a mix of steel shot. I can put out over 400 projectiles in less than a second and a half. By changing mags, I can put out 1,000 slugs in less than seven seconds. The soldier's eyes bugged. Want one? Lyons smiled. The soldier nodded. Not yet, Lyons said. Right now, this is my gun and my war. Nazis, commies, pirates. I pull the trigger on them all. Kill School. Able Team hacks at the heart of a commie Nazi conspiracy by Dick Stivers. And, best off, we could get this Mac Bolin bumper sticker. My name is Mac, so... This is my uh, alter ego, I suppose. Get this Mac Bolin bumper sticker free. Live large, Mac Bolin. So uh, Mac and the Able Team destroy an RV. Here we go. How stable is this? Yeah, that's stable. The turnaround spot is a long way around. I was turning around. Am I too close? Ah, you're fine. Oh yeah, we can. Yeah, probably just about perfect. Uh, yeah, bags up. Here we go. Bingo. I'm assuming fridge door needs to be set aside. The what? I'm assuming fridge door needs to be set aside. No, nope, that's trash. Okay. Well, I'm gonna make sure it's on the bottom of everything because you know how sensitive they can.
scooting by. It's a single lane, it's not a two lane. One more down. Do you want the screw gun to remove your door? Um, I will let you do it. The rope, Brad, uh, what do we got here? Act of war. Where's the last screw? Stripped. Not that I can't. You can never get out. There. Airflow. Uh, airflow, and we can see each other in a little bit of light, and you know. All those good mutually sort of things. Oh, there's a tag. I can't read that, but that might be a... Oh, the prerequisite can of peanut butter. Oh, I found no trailer can be whole without one. Good uses of uh, garden tools. And if I remember right, that's one we found at a, at a campsite. Yep. As I often say, the wilderness will provide. Yes, with all these old clothes are intertwined, so I have to have something to yank them apart with. Yeah, and that's the best way to do it. Yeah, I couldn't, uh, could not shovel. It's just uh, a mess. That has uh, enabled me to shovel. That's what we're here for. Yep. Surprisingly under the bed. <laughs> Tic tac toe. The tic tac toe mug, okay. Thank you. 
I hope I do not uh, pull that one last thing that springs a mouse trap. Yeah. If it does not come out with a light nudge, it no touchy. Yeah, I think it's these two walls in the bathroom. There, there's that. There's the refrigerator. There's a one or two things. I think the carpet was pink. Hmm? I think the carpet was pink. Yeah, that would be my guess based on uh, how brown it is. too hot for a sweatshirt. Yep. I'm gonna take that big chunk off the top. Oh, those. Those don't are not bag compatible. Yet another gift from another trailer. Yep. It's amazing how I'm just slowly outfitting things. A gift. I don't know if you want that in metal recycling or... Yeah, metal. I found a sparkly toothbrush. Got a pile of wood here if you want to oh, help me out. Well, 
mine's staying out because they don't have a hat. So. Right, and that's why I've got it staged at the uh, door for uh, easy snatching. Watch out for that one because it's uh, covered in half sticky insulation. Yep. As is this one. And uh, on your next lap, you want to hand me my sawzall? It should be right there on the tailgate. Thank you. Thank you. I broke through to the other side. My display. Yeah, sort of in the way. Yeah, you're right. That uh, bag you bo bottle you put it in? Yeah. That's my recycling bin. Yeah, well.
Every one of these uh, 12 by 12 tiles would peel right up without breaking it. So if you wanted to whip out an asbestos bag and we presume it's positive, we could just neatly bag all of them. Uh, I have to test them first. Okay. Enough said. Right, because it would be masticked into the roof. Yup, that's a no-brainer. Yanking stuff off over there. Yep. Got the toilet out. You gonna keep working in that area? Uh, well... Until you make your way in there. Okay, well that's where I'm going next. Yep. I'm just grabbing stuff without going under the roof. Sure. Since I don't have a hat. Mm -hmm. Need to get you one. Of course, I also understand why you don't want one. <laughs> well, no, I've got waiting until we have money again. Well, there's that, but you know, I also understand why you don't want one. <laughs> well, it's only fair. Uh, I don't mind. Like they had State Farm Insurance. There's tags all over the place. Oh, there you go, Steve. I found you a hat. Oh, thanks. And uh, for those of you who do not know, I am a ordained Pastafarian minister. I am an ordained Pastafarian minister. If uh, someone wanted to get married, say, you know, in an abandoned RV in the middle of the woods, I could do so. Well, al dente. Ah. May his uh, noodly appendage bless you. Hydrocortisone. We haven't found much medication in here. Uh, I found a bunch of pill bottles, uh, over the counter stuff. Yeah, it's not nothing fun is what I'm, you know. It's all boring stuff like, you know, antacids and uh, aspirin and yeah, ibuprofen. ibuprofen and, you know, the stuff you would expect to find. Nothing, you know, like Dramazine or, you know. Like, you never find hydrocodone for some reason. I mean, who knew why, right? Yeah. 
the uh, place in Southern Oregon, the Oregon Vortex. Yes. Or uh, the Winchester Mystery House. Yeah. Uh, more, more along the lines of where I grew up. Although that wasn't, you know, not square. That was just, you know, All right, well, here we are to the bathroom. Uh, where's the uh, fork? I'm assuming it's this way. No, the fork, the, uh, the rake thing. Oh, I've got it. Okay, I will use the rake rake then. No, you, can, you can use it. I'm I can bring all that stuff over to the other side if you want. Yeah, I'm just trying to help out. No, you're doing good. I just uh, need to find my rake. The uh, plastic cover that holds the AC unit on is held on by two flat blade screws. If that is amenable to removal, it would be less one piece of plastic in here. Um, no. Well, no. Okay. This our luck. We open it up and we find, you know, yeah. Understandable. Do not open box of chocolates. Well, these guys had a Dremel. Or stole a Dremel. Ugh. Or, or, or. A lot of ores here. Yeah. Although I haven't found an ore, which is surprising, giving. Uh, and they really, really, really liked iced tea. Yep. I mean, there's bottles of iced tea whipping everywhere. Well, most of these are empty. Oh, I've been finding the full ones. Well, yeah, I mean... Of uh, yellowish liquid. Right, then you can assume they're truck bombs. Uh, would you... Yep. Get me another bag. Climbing the walls. Business edition, Sunday, February 11th, 2018. Do you dare think that this thing's been here since 2018? Well... Uh, here you go. Oh, I, sh I need to take the empty. Oh, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Here's one of the bullets that shot this place up. Yeah. Oh, actually. Oh. Now you can come in. Um, Our goal is safety. Yeah, who's uh, Casey Industrial? Uh, I was seeing if he needs stickers. Oh, 10 years safe work. You're looking for a name on the hat? Yeah. Qualified operator, K Falls Hardboard. <coughs> Smell a little? Yeah. Just like the K. No, no more than our usual? Um, better than most, actually. Uh. Um, so uh, Vice Grip Garage, which is a YouTube show I always watch, he always uh, likes describing the pungent odor of uh, an abandoned car just before he rebuilds it. Uh, I'll take that bottle. Thank you. Uh, so uh, would you give us a, 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 a sommelier's uh, uh, opinion of the smell? Chemically, you know, it smells a lot like decomposing cellulose, so a lot of wet, moldy paper. But nothing, you know, no tangy, no rotted food, so it's been here at least two years. <sighs> and that is uh, Steve's uh, sommelier uh, yes. 
The nose knows. The nose knows. A pregnancy test? Or, uh... No, some sort of marketing thing. I uh, really need help here. I'm making a mess trying to get this stuff into the bags. Well, uh, I don't know what I can do. Well, just help me uh, land these loads. I can fill these bags up quick. Ooh, you got uh, name, names and papers, maybe. Yeah. No word about it. They're all been the same so far. There was a big stack on the bed. Sherry Riviera. Yeah. James Harriet. Those are a good set of books. You know those? Yeah, I found a bunch of Robert Ludlow. Quite the bat mash back there, huh? Yeah. Everything just sort of spilled out of the side. Well, it... it... There's a... There's a low spot behind the bed where it was all collecting and melting. You overfill that again? Oh yeah. But it's towards the end of the day, so. Just gonna throw that in the metal. Back of the truck. Oh yeah, this bathtub is, uh, wow. Mm. Thermos. Nice. Metal? No. Yeah.
Uh, according to this, we need to check the wheel lugs before moving the RV. Yeah. Although I think that was moving the RV and not removing the RV. Well, if the wheel lugs were here, we'd check them. <laughs> well, they probably are if you look hard enough. There are two kinds of people who take axles in this world. There's the kinds that take the lug nuts, and then there's the kind that don't. The kind that save the nuts, and the kind that are nuts. Yeah. Kind of like peanut butter. You know, you have a crunchy, and you have a not so crunchy. Ah, as usual, I'm stuck here, unable to open up a uh, trash bag. You know you're tired when. mysteries reveal underneath that looks relatively tame yeah i already looked oh well you're no fun come apart pretty quick yep on its time Don't want to reach into that bathtub. Ooh, getting fancy. Kidney pan. <laughs> nice job. You want a hand or? I should be able to get it. Yeah, the bathtub is full of water. Or on the back third. <clears throat> So everything in there <coughs> is pickled. Mm-hmm. Marinating away. Yep. Don't splash me with crap. <laughs> Hand me my saws. I'll cut that out of the way, and then uh, we can swing it around together and uh, send it on its merry way. How's that for a plan? Dillo Muck Cheese. Yeah, I doubt there's any catching that in the roof lashing. all the rodents are living just this one spot so, not that spot and that spot and that other spot and over there and there and underneath that and in yeah. there right yeah just checking I'll make sure you know we're saying accurate things on TV I think I need to uh, up the game here. Well, 
want the uh, oh you want that no you want that Ooh, sorry. It's okay, I dodged. I wonder where that was. All right, up in game. Going for the claw. Why are you clawing? And the contents of the bathtub. Oh. One uh, thing at a time is uh, not cutting it. Yeah, I saw that. I think that one I'm just gonna leave alone. Well, it might be one of these old ones that's worth, you know, made out of hard metal. Okay, well that was remarkably effective. Note to self, weeding claws are fantastic for fishing uh, garbage uh, marinating in a uh, bathtub. You know, good life lessons. started breaking tiles so I uh, I broke one tile so I just flipped them off and okay. set them aside so that they uh, would not get further further disturbed Water tank's full.
Is there a uh, logic or a schema to uh, the numbering? Uh, yeah. I've got my report number and then sample number on it. And the first two digits are the year. Make it easier to keep track of. But I, you know, it's whatever I want it to be. Got it. Just supposed to be unique and traceable. Ooh, stool softeners. Just so I guess uh, that uh, portends well for the uh, septic tank. Do you want this pump? I don't. Calculator. As long as it bends with this. Anybody use the calculator? Dual power, solar. Wow. I right, love that one good for you. You want to, uh, thank you. I just saw a mouse, so uh, they still live here. I saw a mouse, they still live here. Getting a very fruity aroma back here, it's weird. Want the metal? I think we're as done as we need to be. Oh. There's a choice target or two here that I'm going to get. Nothing terrible. Just under the grounds of uh, the more we get now.
Like I'd like to get this carpet up maybe. We can just leave it on the deck. Well, it gives the deck a chance to dry out and not be so yucky. Well, I suspect the deck is just going to be a lift up. Screw gun handy. Then I put it away. Thank you. That's the good aluminum, isn't it? Bad throw. Yeah. Old school rifle rack back here. See that? Yep. Yeah, this is Grandpa's hunting trailer. Uh, so no on the carpet? No on the carpet. Okay. Uh, any more of this that we want to knock out cupboard wise? What's that? Nope. All right, tank in. Pick up all the stuff that's around. Well, yeah, whatever little stuff we want to pick up. We're going to make a bigger mess when we... Well, this way we could go scouting this afternoon.
another day more shoveling off to the dump short mountain and we'll be back uh, once we get asbestos tests this one's so old it could be friable and if it's friable we can't touch it we don't have the authority to do it so we're gonna find out Worst day ever. Well, maybe our lightest day ever. I don't know that it was worse. Light, lightest day ever. I like that. And, and I don't mind a light day. I mean, the way we've been pushing poundage. Um, what's, well, you, you were at, we added our total up uh, a little while ago, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we like, like 90, 93,000 pounds so far this year. Yeah, and today was a paltry... 1,220. 1,220. But, hey, that's another 1,220 pounds out of the woods. And more importantly, uh, when we got stuff up in front of the bathroom, we discovered... Yeah, 12 inch tile, which means I had to asbestos test it. So clearing out the entire trailer is our is our standard operating procedure, and now you know why. Right, because if it is uh, this high in garbage, you can't see the entire floor. And when you can't see the entire floor, you can't make assumptions about what is and what is not asbestos. So there you are, all done. Thank you everybody for watching. Have a great day. Get out there, volunteer, enjoy the sunshine, and we will see you on the next cleanup.